Hey, welcome back. This is Carmen Caldwell, Love and Relationship Coach, and you are on video number two in a series of five videos. The first video was all about activating your love power through your relationship with God. This video is about your love power in relationship with yourself. So again, foundational to our love relationships and how we enter and view those love relationships. You know, scripture tells us that we need to love our neighbors as ourselves. And when we read that, there is an inference that we first need to learn how to love ourselves. And so understanding who you are and whose you are, what you bring to the table in the relationship. First of all, what you bring to the table in your relationship with yourself, understanding your gifts, the values, the things that motivate you is so key and important because when you enter into that love relationship, those are going to be the things that anchor you, and particularly your values. I believe in value-based standards and, and, and dating people and meeting people and connecting with people who share similar values that you do. And so understanding and getting clear about that is going to be so key. As you meet people, as you connect and draw people in, you want to be able to be clear about who you are so that when you're in that relationship, you don't lose yourself. That happens quite a bit in relationships where we're trying to sometimes fit the mold of what we think they want us to be, and we find that we lose ourselves in the relationship. I want you to show up fully and authentically, because that's what love power is all about in all of your relationships, and that includes in your relationship with yourself. So when you look in the mirror, can you be real with you? right? Do you understand your flaws, those character defects, those things we all need to work on? But then also, do you understand your strength, the amazing things that you bring, the gifts that you have? And so understanding that is so key and critical and important to your relationship. And so you can operate in confidence as you enter these relationships, as you enter and meet these different people and meet the person that you want to be in a love, lifelong love relationship with. The other thing that's so critical about relationships and understanding who you are and your relationship with self is your mindset about love. Man, I don't know. Most of my clients are over 30, you know, anywhere 30s, 40s, really, that age population, which has given us a lot of time to date, <laughs> which also has given us a whole range of experiences. And there are some sisters and brothers out there who are just done, tired of love, tired of, of all the things that go with that. And so they come already jaded with a mindset about love. Or you may be the opposite, totally optimistic, always this person is the one. And that brings a different mindset to the love relationship. I want you to understand a healthy, a healthy mindset as it relates to your love relationship and how you show up. Um, so we talk a lot about that in Love Power. So I want you to stay connected as we go deeper into that. But I just want to leave you with or share with you that one line that is so important and key that you understand your mindset around love and understanding what you've seen around love and what you understand love to really be. And the other thing I really want to hone in on as it relates to your relationship with self is the healthy boundaries that you you create for yourself. Because understanding, once you're able to create healthy boundaries around um, your, your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, your physical health, all of those things are so key and important in understanding and activating your love power so that when you enter into that relationship, you have boundaries set. And you're not trying to shift and figure out where the boundaries are. You know where you stand on certain issues. You know the lines that you will not cross on certain things. So getting clear about that as you, before you enter into a relationship. So as you enter that relationship, you can communicate that and you all can come to an understanding. Um, again, going to a value where you can set the value together and understand that this is where you all both stand or not. And from there, you can make decisions about whether or not this relationship is for you. And a lot of my clients, they may be single, but also clients who are in current relationships who want to know, is this person the one? I'm, I'm not clear. And understanding your love power and activating your love power in your relationship with self will help you get a lot more clear about that, whether you're in a relationship or you want to be in a relationship. So this is Carmen, a love and relationship coach. I am excited about this journey with you. So we are headed into video number three in this series where we're going to talk about your love power being activated in your relationships with friends and family. Again, Carmen Caldwell, love and relationship coach, your sister friend in life and in love.